What's up, guys? It's Fort Thurston here. Uh, sorry for the head cut off. <laughs> Trying to make it so that you can see my guitar in my right hand and all that stuff. Um, it's a glorious fall day here in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, it's really just, you know, playing guitar. I'm sitting here writing songs and stuff and crossed my mind of um, what it is that could help. And I, may, I might have, many times I might have passed through something that will be showing you again. It's pretty hard not to do that. I have to go back and watch all my videos to remember all that stuff. But I would say that um, for most people learning and stuff like that is phrasing and learning how to connect things together, I think is probably the most difficult part as far as I can remember, even for myself. And I mean, it's still a battle, right? So um, let's just start resurfacing with a couple scales, okay? Let's do the A major scale, right? Okay, so you have those note choices, right? Learn that, and then learn the related minor scale. This is the same scale but played four half steps below, okay? So you're starting on this F sharp note. Right there, right? See how that works to that A chord and the A major seven, or play it all di diagonally. Or, or, okay, so there's three shapes. Okay, so maybe just record playing that chord or just drone an A. And what you want to do is just over this, the easiest way to remember the scale and for phrasing is just record either that A drone or this chord and just pick notes simply from those two scales. Look at that. Remember, you don't have to start on the root note. I started on the four, which maybe, you know. Let's start on the five. Started on E. Right? There's a little phrase. Which is? Start on the root. The two or the nine. Ben. Good exercise, finger strength. Rare sighting, I never tap.
nails together. One idea. I hope that helps. Put those two scales together and just phrase. If you haven't subscribed, please do so below. I have a little tip links in there so I could um, keep practicing and writing and living in Nashville and not having to move home with my parents, which would be great. Um, man, I really need to clean my house. It's out of control, man. I've been doing the whole touring and you come home and all your shit just gets dumped at the, in the house. You know what I mean? So leave the night and then uh, be back to more teaching and songwriting. And I love... Uh, doing all this stuff and I really think that I'm tapping into an easier way of teaching you all. I'm sure some of you are advanced and if you are, it still doesn't hurt to go back over just to refresh your brain on the most simple things. Now you have those two scales, the next one we're going to add the two above and you're going to have all this real estate droning and then I'm going to show you how, what to think if we are using those scales going over a different chord tone. All right, so stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, and I appreciate everyone's tips and help. It's a really amazing thing that's going on in the community of YouTube. It's mind-blowing, actually. So I'll see you next time. Take care.